Understanding a couple things when it comes to picking your style and deciding what it is that you want to dress like. Um, I don't believe that there are any particular styles that you need to maintain every day because um, we don't feel the same every day. <clears throat> we don't like the same colors every day. The days are not the same and weather changes. So, you know, I believe that people are should be able to adjust and change with that. Um, I think the most important thing before I start this series is that I want women specifically, women and men, it doesn't really matter to um, just remember one thing. You have to love yourself today more than you loved yourself yesterday and always more or less than you will tomorrow because that is the number one thing in style is that you have to be confident in whoever you are. Um, there are many women out there, specifically I can speak about women, who have a delusion, I'll call it, even though that might not be considered to be very nice, um, about what it is that they possess. I believe every woman has something that's beautiful about them. I just think it's most important for women to realize what that is. Um, for instance, I'll give you an example. If uh, everyone wants a Coke bottle, you know, Coca-Cola bottle shape, you know, you want to have the boonky and the, the boondas and everything is good. Okay, I got you. Uh, fact of the matter is, um, most people are not born with everything. So, sometimes you have a lot at the top and a little bit at the bottom, or a lot at the bottom and a little bit at the top. Very rarely are you giving everything. It happens, but it's rare. Um, a flat stomach, a big bottom, a big top, a nice top, it's rare. So, you have to look in the mirror and be honest. If you measure your boobs and you measure your waist and you measure your hips, and your hips are smaller than your boobs, then you are an apple. And thusly, when you dress, when you go out and you decide to go shopping for something, you need to try and, ideally I would think, try and give the appearance of the Coke bottle, even though you're really an apple. And vice versa, if you have um, a large amount of measurement in the hip area, which is not my issue, and less in the boobal area, then you might choose to enhance the top more to balance it out with the bottom so that you go and you have your Coke bottle look. But the number one thing is to be honest about what you have. I look in the mirror and I have to be honest with what I have. Why? Because... That's what I have, and I'm not willing to change it. I'd rather live with it. So, um, for especially the young girls out there, I see a lot of times people like to uh, um, wear things because they're popular, but not because they look good on them. For instance, there was a period of stockings and short, short cut-off jeans and Uggs or something, boots. It was a time in which that was a moment ago where that was a nice look. But I saw a lot of people wearing the outfit and it was not appropriate for their body type. It wasn't. It was just what they saw in the magazine but not the version that worked with them. So that's the point. Anyway, in finding your style, you need to be comfortable with who you are first um, before you can even start along the road of... Um, what are my best colors? What is the best uh, lines uh, or the you know uh, shapes um, that go best with what I have? Um, so uh, I believe that's the primary thing. That's the first step in um, putting together yourself and being confident in whatever you wear. Um, yeah, I've gone out in cowboy hats and and. Um, big poofy skirts and 
uh, com and you know boots and crazy boots and I uh, make it work and I don't I know what I have and I know what I look like and I change it according to what I like and when I go out I'm confident in what I'm wearing and I know that what I'm wearing is not like anyone else's and I'm okay with that because I'm okay with admitting to myself that I'm not like anyone else and neither are you so in that in closing again I think it's very important that everybody realize that you need to be love yourself more today than you did yesterday and less than you will tomorrow so you need to always be confident in who you are and take a good look in the mirror and realize that more than likely you're not a coke bottle you might be but more than likely you're not and so in that you need to accept it before you try and change it just accept it because there are plenty of clothing pieces out there that can be added to your um, shape whatever shape that is to make it more attractive but you have to be honest about what you have if you got little boobies be happy about the little boobies you have because some people with big boobies are unhappy with all the boobies that they have so you know nobody likes everything that they have even the most beautiful person has something they don't like even if it's a fingernail so you know there's no perfection and so therefore we need to be understanding of that and stop trying to reach for perfection because in the end uh, it's not attainable in my opinion perfection at all um, and why spend your life trying to attain something that's not attainable instead of just living with what you have whatever that is because you're here so anyway this is uh, Styles T uh, my first um, uh, video for your style and um, subscribe here I don't even know if I'm pointing the right way. <laughs> Subscribe here and um, uh, look for more videos from me because I really would like to uh, interact and uh, get out there and possibly help some people um, realize how beautiful they are. Anyway, signing off uh, on this beautiful, sunny, yet not warm day. And uh, see you soon. Bye. I wanna go to beautiful.